Hi everyone, welcome to another video for Ross Q&A. Today I'm going to be answering this question that I found on Ross Answers, in which this person is trying to launch a launch file and he wants the Arvis to start automatically alongside with the launch file. He says he creates a workspace and a package and a launch file and when he runs the command ros launch ros package simulate dot launch nothing is happening there is no error but no rvis file is opening so basically he wants to have rvis right at the startups so when he launches this launch file so to answer this question we're going to go to ros ds the ros development studio And we're going to create a new ROS jet. You're going to hit here and you'll be able to name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it TurtleBot Launch File with RVIS because I'm going to use the TurtleBot 3 um, simulation in order to explain how to do this. So I already actually created it, so I'm going to go back. And you can go into your ROS jet. And while it's loading, let me show you our Ross Academy. It's the constructsim.com. And this is a great platform if you want to learn Ross. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an advanced Ross programmer. In here, you'll find over 50 Ross courses where you can just learn anything you want in Ross. And it's a great resource. So you guys should check it out. So Going back to our ROS check, here you have it. We're gonna first clone two repositories that have to do with our with the TurtleBot simulation in order to have everything that we need to launch the simulation. So we're gonna go ahead and open our IDE and a shell. So, if you, as you can see, I already copied the repositories, but I'm going to show you how to do that. As you can see, they're under this workspace called simulation workspace, because we're going to want to put everything that has to do with our simulation in here in simulation workspace. And as you can see, inside our SRC folder, you have two repositories, the TurtleBot 3 and TurtleBot 3 simulations. And the way I got that was just by going to the website GitHub and looking at the Robotis um, TurtleBot 3 repositories that they provide. So it's one, one of them is right here. So Robotis Git TurtleBot 3, if you just type that into Google, you'll find it. And here you can copy the URL and go back to the ROS DS, go inside the simulation workspace, inside the SRC, and here you can say git clone and paste, sorry, git clone and paste the URL that you have copied. There you go. So you'll, you'll just launch this command and it's telling me it already exists because I already cloned it, but you can, you'll see that it does it in your computer. And the same for Robotis Git TurtleBot 3 simulations. You're gonna wanna do the same thing, clone it and paste it with the git clone command in your simulation source folder, git clone and the TurtleBot 3 simulations GitHub. So there you go. Now we have everything we need in order to show that how to launch our base at start. So right here, we're actually gonna create a new launch file so I can show you. So if you go to TurtleBot simulations and you can create a new file under the launch, the launch folder. So we're gonna name it um, TurtleBot3 
harvest. I call it that because it's gonna include, sorry, it's gonna include the, oh, it's telling me that's already exists because I already created it. And it's gonna include the turtlebot3world.launch and um, another thing that is necessary for Arvis, which is the robot state publisher and the joint state publisher, which is included in one called turtlebot 3 bring up. Dot, um, and so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So, like I said, here is the create, when you create that new launch file, you're gonna include first the turtlebot3world.launch, which is inside turtlebot3gazebo right here. You actually can find it here, which is right here and the Turtlebot 3 remote, which includes those joint state publishers and robot state publishers. And it's inside the Turtlebot 3 bring up package. And finally, to launch Arvis right away, we're gonna hit, we're gonna include this node tag, just like this. You're gonna say node, name Arvis, package Arvis, type Arvis. So when you have this, now we can actually launch it and see what happens. So we're gonna hit ROS launch, TurtleBot3, Gazebo, TurtleBot, Three world harvest. So, oh, we forgot to include the model number, model name for the turtle bot. So we're just gonna, it's usually the burger. So we're just gonna hit type in export and then all caps turtle bot three model, like it specifies right here. I'm going to set it equal to burger. So now we can launch it. So at this moment, the gazebo and the Arbis are launched. And inside ROSDS, you're going to want to look at that in the, under tools over here in this tab. We can open the gazebo simulation there you go you can see the world launch which includes here you can see the turtle bot and what the question was all about here in graphical tools you're going to see that our is already launched uh, so here if it opens like this you can hit resized open app and you can see that there are some errors. That's because you have, we haven't set the fixed frame correctly. Usually we set it to base link. And from here we can add whatever you want. Here I'm just gonna add the robot model so you can see it. Here it is. So there you can see it in Arvis. And then you can add things like by topic, for example, if you want to see the laser scan, what the laser scan is seeing. So you hit that, you add it, and you can see um, everything that the laser scan is seeing, which corresponds to the world simulation in Gazebo. And that's it. That's how you launch in Arvis. Um, that's how you launch an Arvis right when you launch a launch file. You just have to add it in your launch file as an Arvis node tag like this. Well, thank you, and I'll see you later for the next Q&A. Bye-bye.